Greetings, Internet, and holy crap, I'm back. Sort of. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Insanian Eats Weird Stuff. Okay, so look, back in March of last year, I developed kidney stones, and that kind of put an end to the show. I had really bad kidney stones and also no health insurance, so I had to wait like three months to get the kidney stones removed surgically. I couldn't pass them, they were too big. And then, in March of this year, 2019, I had emergency gallbladder surgery to have it removed, because it was causing me pain that I thought was related to the kidney stones. And I stopped doing the show because a lot of the things that I did on the show were sugary sodas and chocolate. Sugary sodas were really the big thing that I did that caused me a lot of the issues with both the kidney stones and the gallbladder. I don't drink soda anymore, at all. I drink mostly water and Propel, which is water with people, if you remember those commercials. Ugh. Anyway, I really like it. There are sodas out there that I want to try. I want to try the new Dr. Pepper Dark Berry. I want to try the Orange Vanilla Coke, but I can't because I don't have a gallbladder anymore and drinking soda causes me immense pain. That sucks. But I still can do chocolate a little bit in moderation. So nothing says moderation like five different bags of M&Ms. They're share sizes. So that means I'll be sharing them with people, mostly my girlfriend. But M&M's had this thing where they had a whole bunch of different flavors out and you get to choose which flavor you wanted to be the new one. They did that last year and Coffee Nut was the winner, but they had like like they had like a honey one or or a spicy one or anyway, they're doing that again or at least they did and I think that's over with now. I bought these a little while ago and hadn't done anything with them, but they're M&Ms, they don't expire for like a year. Okay, no, a couple months, 11. They expire in November of this year. I'm filming this at the end of May. I bought them in March. I'm good. I'm, I'm a very smart boy. Anyway, we've got Mexican jalapeno peanut. Let's see if we can get that. Mexican jalapeno peanut, crunchy espresso, uh, crunchy mint, Thai coconut peanut, and read that, Thai coconut peanut, and last but not least, English toffee peanut. I'm least excited about the jalapeno one, so I'm gonna do those first. These were the vote and you could win a trip around the world. That's why we're doing all these uh, weird things. Allergy information contains peanut, milk, and soy, may contain tree nuts. I'm supposed to avoid tree nuts, but again, moderation. That's the key, kids. I've been real good. I don't eat a lot of chocolate things. I eat some, I eat in moderation, because I still, I can't give it up. I, I can't, I try. I can't do it, M&Ms. Ha! Anyway, here we go. It's a share size. That doesn't mean it's the size of share. It just means it's one you can share. Homonyms, words that sound like other words. I think that's homonym. In fact, check me. That's fine. They look like M&M's. Got a big, it's a darker green than they usually are. I don't know if you can tell with these lights. That is a darker green than usual. Definitely darker than the green screen behind me. They don't smell spicy. I'm going for the green one because it's a jalapeno. Makes sense in my brain. Oh, I was about to say, I don't notice any heat, and then I swallowed it, and I definitely, whoo, feel a little burnination in the back of the throat. <coughs> I don't like jalapenos. I went to Pop Belly and got a sandwich, and they always ask me, mayo, mustard, and hots? And I go, mayo, mustard, no hots. I can't do hots. So I took my sub, I didn't eat it there, and I took a bite of it, and I put hots on it, covered it in jalapenos. My head exploded. Man, that's got some heat to it. It goes away pretty quickly. There's a lingering tiny heat now. Not bad. Wouldn't get them, because I don't like that kind of heat. Let's cool that with some Thai coconut peanut M&Ms. Peanut M&M is drinking from a coconut and has a little flower behind his ear. That's festive. On the jalapeno ones, he's wearing a sombrero and holding a bunch of jalapeno peppers. Nope. 
So anyway, Thai coconut. These are a little more pastel colored. I enjoy that they try to color them to fit the theme. Little, little blue and a, it's not quite white or yellow. It's kind of in between. An off white. Couldn't really tell that with the lights I'm using. There's no coconut smell either on these, just like there's no jalapeno smell. And it's a very mild, very mild coconut taste. I feel like these lights might be a bit much. This shirt is light blue and it looks white on my viewfinder. Whatever. I mean Mr. Business. So those aren't bad. I would definitely buy those. Those are real tasty. I like coconut. I like peanut. I like M&Ms. Duh. So let's switch it up before we finish out with peanut. Get a little palate cleanser, maybe. The Crunchy Espresso. They had a coffee nut version, which is a coffee and peanut together. But this is the crispy thing with espresso. So it's give you the jitters, I guess. There's another vote thing. Share your reaction with vote Crunchy Espresso. I don't know if they did three of the crispy ones to vote on. I only found two, espresso and mint. And I've had the mint crunchy before too at the M&M store in Vegas. So we'll see if they're the same. They had some raspberry ones there. The M&M store in Vegas is four stories full of M&M mem memorabilia and other crap monument to consumerism. But it also has a whole thing where you can fill your own bags of different M&M flavors that they only have there that they don't have anywhere else. And raspberry M&Ms were the bomb. I've said before on this show. Raspberry and chocolate together. Mwah, excellent. Do that thing. We all know that raspberry flavoring in chocolate is not real raspberry. It's a flavoring that they, I don't want to say where they get it from, but it's better you don't know. But it's delicious. So crunchy espresso, here we go. Assuming I can get into the damn bag. Ooh. Now this, immediately after opening, has a distinct smell. Oh, that is a coffee smell. Wow. Oops. <laughs> you know how the other ones said best by November? This one says best before February 2019. Oops. I'm sure they're fine. The mint ones say best before January. I'm a smart boy. Now this one says it's October. That one's November. It was November. All right, whatever. You know, I'm sure it's fine. It's chocolate. It's They've been sitting in my room sealed. February 2019. It's now almost June. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, these are interestingly colored. Can You can't tell, but I'm holding three. The one in the back there might be a little washed out with my hand and the lights. I'm trying a new light thing. We'll see how it works. What do you think? Leave a comment if everything is too bright in the wrong color. Anyway, espresso, crunchy. I'm gonna try all three of these, all three different colors. Wow. <coughs> wow. That is a very, very strong mocha coffee espresso flavor. Really strong. And because of the crun crispiness of the crispy M&Ms, or crunchy M&Ms, what do they call them? Yeah, crunchy, crispy, whatever. It gives it a grittiness. Man, that's a thing. Wow. Okay, that's very strong. Very strong espresso feeling, flavor. It's a very strong espresso flavor. It's not bad though. I usually don't like coffee flavored things. Probably wouldn't go nuts on those. It's fine, that one's good. Moving on to the wild card here, the English toffee peanut ones. Mr. Peanut Eminem is wearing a bowler hat, which reminds me of Mr. Peanut, just needs a monocle, but it's got a British flag in it. That's what we mean by English toffee. And he's holding, I guess, toffee, I can't. Whatever. These are Best Buy November. Actually, these are Best Buy October. A month earlier than the other two bags. Whatever. Not getting any smell whatsoever from these. And these are toffee colored. All various tans and yellows. It's fine. Certainly going to give this a try. Mmm. I do like the smell of these because they smell like M&Ms and getting a tiny, tiny hint of toffee now. Didn't get it from the bag. Got it from my hand. I don't know if it's because I put three of them in my mouth at once, but I got very little toffee flavor from that. No, there's a toffee aftertaste. I'm gonna try one, see if that makes a difference. Yeah, it's more of a toffee aftertaste. All of these aren't really a taste when you're biting into it. It's an aftertaste when it's done and out of your face, which is a fun thing to say. It's the taste when it's out of your face. Put that on the bag, Mars Company. And finally, the one you can't go wrong with, Crunchy Mint. Yeah. 
I'm excited for this one, except for the fact that it expired five months ago. Well, best before. There was a TV show in the 90s called Wise Guy, and one of the characters in the show was like, what does it mean, best before? Does it mean okay after, or eat this now and it'll kill you? Best before is a guideline that it is best before this, but after it, you're still going to be kind of okay. Honestly, you don't want to do that with milk or anything like that, but things full of preservatives like chocolate that sits on a shelf, you're probably going to be okay. So here's hoping that I'm going to be okay, especially after all the medical things I said at the beginning of this episode, with these crispy mint M&Ms. Crunchy mint. God, I love the smell of mint. And luckily, you get that right away with this. You know what you're getting into. There's a sea of green. There's so much green on the screen right now between the bag and the thing behind me. Green! I don't know why I yelled that, I'm sorry. Oh, there's one or two brown ones in there. It's a light green, a dark green, and a brown. Random. These, I'm pretty sure I know I'm going to like. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I had them in Vegas. Anyway. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Now my breath feels all minty fresh. Yeah, don't brush with M&Ms, kids. That's just a helpful tip. Yeah, so that was pretty good. And there you have it. Those are these bizarre new M&Ms flavors that they're trying that you can vote on that is probably done by now. This video is late. This video is very late. Like I said, they've been sitting on my desk for a while and I haven't had time to film things, but now I did, so here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed me making a fool of myself shoving candy into my fat head. If you like this video, please like it, leave a comment, maybe subscribe. I also have a Patreon because I'm a person that exists on Earth and on YouTube, so of course I have a Patreon. Special thanks to all my Patreon supporters who support me on there, and you know, links in the description and at the end tag here. We'll see ya another time. Uh, there's more videos coming. Music videos, all sorts of stuff. Thanks, y'all. Goodbye! Now, do I seal these now or eat them and ruin my chocolate ratio? Oops. I'm not crazy about peppermint. Uh -uh. I'm not crazy about PBJ. No way. But if you stick it in a cookie form, uh -huh. you know I'ma eat it anyway.